In this video, we are going to review how to work with negative numbers by working through the Khan Academy practice called the order of operations with negative numbers. Now PEMDAS helps us remember the order of operations. First we do anything inside parentheses, then we do any exponents, then we multiply and divide from left to right, and finally we add and subtract from left to right. So let's take a look at this one. Now we actually understand that there's parentheses around this fraction, and we will treat this fraction like a division problem. So the first thing we'll do here is negative 1 divided by negative 1. Now we'll also do this multiplication problem here, because it doesn't affect this division problem. All right, so negative 7 times 7 is negative 49. Then we have our plus 9. And then times, well, negative 1 divided by negative 1 is positive 1, because the negative divided by negative is positive. So times 1. All right, moving from left to right, we multiply. 9 times 1 equals 9. And then negative 49 plus 9 equals negative 40, because when we add numbers with two different signs, we actually subtract the numbers and use the sign of the larger number. Okay, here we have an exponent, so we will go ahead and do that first. So negative 9 squared, that's negative 9 times negative 9, and a negative times a negative is positive, so this will equal 10 minus 81. Now here we have a subtraction problem, and we're subtracting a large number from a small number. So one way to think of this is we could add the opposite. This is like 10 plus negative 81. And when we have an adding problem with numbers of two different signs, we subtract the numbers and use the sign of the larger number. 81 minus 10 is 71, so it'll be negative 71. Once again, we'll do the exponent first. Actually, we need to do what's inside parentheses first. So the four tags along for now. Three minus two equals one. Now we do the exponent. So we have four minus one squared. One squared equals one times one. So four minus one equals three. So here we have subtraction and multiplication. We multiply before we subtract. So we're going to work out 4 times negative 8. So the 1 just tags along. 4 times negative 8 equals negative 32. So I have 1 minus negative 32. Now with a subtraction problem, we can add the opposite. So we change it to addition and switch the sign of the second number. Notice we did not change the sign of the first number. 1 plus 32 equals 33. Another way to look at this problem would be to change this subtraction sign to a plus negative 4. And now we're doing a negative times a negative. So this would be 1 plus positive 32 because negative times negative is positive. And we get 33 again. Subtraction, multiplication, addition, and multiplication. Let's do those multiplication problems from left to right. So the 10 tags along here. 9 times 5 is 45. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. I'm just putting the 12 inside parentheses to separate the addition sign from the negative sign. Okay, so now we have subtraction and addition. We'll do those from left to right. 10 minus 45. Well, that's the same as 10 plus negative 45. We have more negatives than positives. 
And since the signs are different, we subtract. 45 minus 10 is 35, and it'll be negative 35. And plus negative 12. We have an addition problem. The signs are the same, so we'll go ahead and add. So we have negative 47. We have exponents and subtraction. So let's go ahead and do those exponents first. So negative 3 to the third power. It'd be negative 3 times negative 3, which is positive 9, times another negative 3, which is negative 27. And then 4 squared is 16. So we have negative 27 minus 16. Let's add the opposite. So it's negative 27 plus negative 16. It's an addition problem. The signs are the same. So we'll go ahead and add those two numbers and get negative 43. All right, here we have a fraction. We'll go ahead and treat that fraction like a division problem. And that's what we'll do first so, because we divide before we add. So that negative 8 tags along. 70 divided by negative 7 will be negative 10. Because whether you're multiplying or dividing, if one of the numbers is negative, it doesn't matter which one's bigger, then the answer is negative. And we have negative 8 plus negative 10 is negative 18. I hope this review of negative numbers and the order of operations on Akata Canopy has been helpful. This is Mr. Ela signing off.